The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. Republicans are now looking ahead and eyeing a major political comeback. They rallied the troops at a leadership conference that took place this weekend in New Orleans, where a straw poll gave us an early indication of potential GOP candidates in 2012. Mitt Romney topped Ron Paul on the ballot by just one vote. There you see uh, all of the results. Sarah Palin was third, Newt Gingrich fourth. Both well back of uh, the front runners, though. Congressman Ron Paul joins us this morning now from Clute, Texas. Congressman, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So, Thank you, John. Nice to be with you. Over, over the weekend, you know, we heard a little bit of back and forth and difference of opinion between Newt Gingrich and Sarah Palin about whether or not the Republican Party should be the party of no. Newt Gingrich saying, you can't be the party of no. You've got to be the party of yes. You've got to tell people what you're for. Sarah Palin saying, no, it's okay if you don't like something to say no. Where do you, Congressman, come down on that? Well, I, I agree with them both. You know, if you don't like something, you say no. But usually there's an opposite to no. You're saying yes to something. So I have to say no a lot to most of the legislation in Washington, but I am saying yes to the Constitution and to the principles of liberty. So in a way, they're, they're both right. I don't think there's too much as of a disagreement there. Right, but I think what uh, Newt Gingrich seemed to be saying uh, was that, you know, you have to sort of stand for something that you can point to. Maybe it's legislatively, maybe it's just on principle, standing up and explaining because I think right now, obviously, when you're the minority party in Congress, it's harder to show, you know what, this is what we want to get done. So what do you do? What's your role as the minority party in Congress uh, when it comes to trying to let people know what you stand for? Well, I, I think that's the goal, and of course, that's been my goal all along. Some people say that when you're in the opposition, all you do is knock down the, op the other side because they're doing badly, and that you'll pick up the pieces, and then you'll tell them, because if you tell them specifically what you believe in, they'll start challenging you, though. But if you really believe in something and you believe it's correct, you know, you should come across with saying, this is what I believe in. I believe in sound money. I believe in non-interventionist foreign policy. I believe in civil liberties. I believe in the free market. So that's all yes. Uh, and I, I, of course, believe that sincerely that uh, uh, I don't run for office. I run to see if I can get support for certain ideas. So when I can get the support of the votes or win something, that to me is a sign that they're accepting these ideas, which I consider very positive. And you were there over the weekend, did very well, as we said, in the straw poll. Sarah Palin was there as well. And of course, she's become a very popular figure, draws huge crowds. Right. To some degree, she has become the face of the Tea Party. Your son Rand said that she would be a great president. Did, do you agree with that? Would she be a viable candidate in 2012? Well, I don't make predictions like that at, at, at all because, uh, you know, I've been watching this for a long time and I've been always waiting for a great president. And uh, quite frankly, there's been a few get into office that have very, very few qualifications. And uh, those who have qualifications, I don't see a whole lot of difference. To me, it's back to the ideology of the people. Mm -hmm. The president and the Congress reflect the people. The people want welfare and warfare. That's what the Congress and that's what the president gives. So to me, it's a change of attitude. As long as the people want to be taken care of by the government, no matter what that individual say or does or whether they're popular or they don't think a whole lot, uh, they're going to they're gonna do what the attitudes are. But also, there's a conflict between what the prevailing attitude of the people actually is versus the power of the lobbyists. You know, the people might not want, med uh, you know, government medical care, but the lobbyists might. So then there's a fight, and that, of course, that fight is out in the open now, what the people want versus what the lobbyists and the uh, politicians want. Uh, and one big player in that whole fight has been the Tea Party. We've sort of seen it evolve over the past year, especially through the health care debate. But um, it seems like it's hard to define. What are the main issues that the Tea Party stands for? Well, I think... Clearly, there's, there's a, lot, a, a fair amount of disagreement on exactly where they come down on, say, the war on drugs and foreign policy. But I think what unifies them is they're, uh, they're, they're disgusted with hearing promises and not being fulfilled by the politicians. They don't trust the government. But they also are very, very concerned about the size and scope and the failure of government and really the bankruptcy of government. Uh, because it, it doesn't go unnoticed that the national debt is rising so rapidly. Last week, the national debt went up $108 billion right. in well, one well, week. Well, 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 what about all the other things we this. see in these Tea Party? What about the, 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 some have argued the elements of perhaps racism, uh, some of the other things, talking about Obama as a socialist, Obama as, you know, a... Uh, a, uh, a I, I think, uh, they're, they're present at some of these rallies. 
Yeah, I think that's one or two percent, and it's blown out of proportion when uh, some media uh, person in the media can pick this up and play that up and forget about 99 percent of what they're saying. They want limited mm -hmm. government, and these are good people. And yes, it, uh, there are elements like that both on left and right, but I don't, I don't think that's their theme at all. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, there's always risk in politics, whether you're on the left or right, of people who will join you for ulterior motives, and they tend to want to discredit you. And that's why the individual who are presenting the case has to present the issues. I have to defend my views. I can't defend the views of everybody who ever shows up at one of my events, because that'd be yeah. impossible. I mean, we, we don't screen people. Hey, hey, Congressman, just before we go, let's see if we can get you on the record on this. Michael Steele, the RNC chairman, he was also down there. Growing number of people calling for his resignation, saying that you know, he's not the best person to be leading the party. What are your thoughts on that? Should he step down? I don't think so. You know, I think he's doing a pretty good job compared. I mean, he, there's some blunders, but once again, it might be a little lack of control of uh, some of the people that work for him. And it, it did something. I don't think he was personally involved, but it's a big operation. He's been winning some elections, and uh, so you've got he, he's raised a lot of money. So in, in my, anyway, he's one, he's the first uh, Republican chairman has had, you know, at least reached out to me, at least would talk to me. You know, generally the Republican leadership don't want to anything to do with me and they don't want to have anything to do with the Ron Paul people they should be looking to us and saying why you know uh, why why don't we help uh, these young people who are so anxious and interested in what I'm talking about maybe they can be and should be in the Republican Party instead of being excluded he, he's reached out and he has imperfection he's admitted those we all have those but uh, to to kick him out of office right now that's not going to happen it wouldn't make any sense as far as I'm concerned